hello hello hi guys I'm sorry it's been a little while since I've had any videos up uh, life one thing and another and sharing technology is not the best so I know it's been a little while since we've had any videos I've got a whole host of them planned I hope to get some more with a bit more regularity coming soon I've got this video which is a huge thank you and a love mail from Miss Ravenflower and some beautiful little items came in the post a couple of days ago and I've been finding a moment to record since then. I have opened it so I do know what's in it but I really wanted to show you guys and just say thank you on video as well because it's some really gorgeous stuff. I've also got like one Halloween haul to do and that's basically a Halloween collection from everything that I have been gifted mainly um, or have gotten on myself over the last three or four months so uh, usually I had or I used to have uh, more of a disposable income for Halloween which I now don't do but I got some cool bargains so we can we can do that on the Halloween haul video so again apologies for the fact that content has been irregular I know some people have been contacting me not very happy that not much has been put out recently but we shall endeavor to get on top of that again so firstly, I want to show you the amazing box uh, because there is all this amazing Halloween goodness taped all around uh, the outside. I might have to see if I can get into it and like save some of the card. Uh, I'm not sure that it's going to be possible with the seller tape, but this one in particular is gorgeous. How gorgeous is that? It would be beautiful just to like tape it onto uh, one of my notebooks or something. So, Everything in here from Miss Ravenflower is just, mwah, it's just so lovely. And uh, the first thing is so good. I was, I like squeed when I opened the box. I was like, oh my god, oh my goodness. So firstly, it's kitchen, it's, it's uh, kitchen towels, so, which is something that I need. Because <laughs> like you'll see with the Halloween haul later, a lot of the things that I've been getting are home related, like, you know, necessary. But look at this. Look, look at the foxes. So it's foxes in four colours and there are little hedgehogs and owls too, but the foxes are just, they're just gorgeous. And they're actually really fluffy for kitchen towels. Oh, it's so cool. It's so, and I love him. I love it so much. I love it so much. I love it so much and it's making a leap. So uh, they're going to be used because I need kitchen towels because we don't really have, we have one and it's rubbish. So that was really cool. And then the second thing is what's the whole box smelled like and it's such, I was so happy to see one because, you know, it's still in its little bag. I was just seeing if I could get it out easily. I can't. Okay, so it's a little cinnamon broom. And it smells gorgeous. It's not full on cinnamon smell. Um, they're used in like protection and you can hang them around your house. They're very autumnal and you will see them around uh, maybe in England if and now Scotland. Uh, if you're very, very lucky. Um, but not like they have them in America. And, oh, it's the whole box smells so gorgeous because of it. So then. Oh, this is fun. Um, I have a little story for having this. So, firstly, there's a there's a fox on this tea. <laughs> so it's a uh, Trader Joe's uh, Harvest Blend Herbal Tea. And the funny story about this is that uh, Chris and I were talking. Well, Chris and I and everyone were talking in tribe that uh, about herbal teas with regards to like autumnal harvest teas because Chris had bought about 20 million of them <laughs> no exaggeration and I was like oh you don't really get those here I've never really seen like a, a harvest blend tea they're a bit more all over the pumpkin spice now they realize they can make serious cash from it uh, but herbal sort of harvest teas I haven't seen any um, so this was like really fun when I opened it I was like oh no I have one no I have one no I have one does it actually say what the uh, cinnamon, ginger, hibiscus, and apple flavors with chamomile, roasted chicory, and orange peel? That sounds tasty. It sounds delicious. It sounds like I want to eat it. Never mind, drink it. Just to open the tea bags. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is really cool, and it's actually kind of like in two parts. So the first part of this is uh, a rose of Jericho. 
which is the resurrection flower. But there's a whole uh, booklet on the recommended way to <laughs> use uh, Rosa Jericho, uh, which is to do with uh, putting it in water and sprinkling it, and you can add lodestones and, and other bits and pieces to bring in good luck. And there is a whole way of doing it, which is, uh, it sounds distinctly hoodoo in the, the instruction manual, which I think the Rosa Jericho is from the hoodoo tradition, right? Um, and this is really cool. So I've never actually had one of these before because in England, these are super freaking expensive. Like really, and like if you can find one, which is a good luck with in the first place, they've always been super freaking expensive everywhere that I have ever seen. So there's that. And then the kind of the second part is that there's a lodestone with some lodestone food in. And I was really pleased to see this because I forgot my lodestone. Um, so lodestones and magnetic sand are used again for money and prosperity and finances and things, but you can use them according to the leaflet alongside or with the Rose of Jericho. So I really love these for money magic. I was surprised about just how much success I had with my lodestone. So when I had a lodestone, I put it in a bowl and I uh, put it on a base of a few other kind of more uh, traditionally European centric herbs that would like feed it. So I had a basil for example, I think there was some cinnamon and, and things like that. I can't remember exactly because it's a while ago now, but I kind of like brought like a Celtic tree energy into it as well. There was like some trees of, of, of specific ones that I wanted in the uh, luck and money drawing bowl. And then I put my lodestone in and then I would use the sand to feed it. So it's kind of like as above, so below, it was being fed from underneath and then I would feed it from on top and it would bring in money and it worked really, really well. So I am going to be setting this up as well as when I have a fishbowl or something equivalent for the Rose of Jericho. So that's really, really cool. There's so much cool stuff in here. Just moving through the bubble wrap, which I, I hoard onto because I can use it for shipping. So the next thing is one of her candles and this is a ginger, Genji! I have to say it that way since being Shrek. I can't say it any other way. Ginger saffron. This cute little bag that she's. You can smell it through. Oh, it's nice too. Mm, 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 mm. Sniffies. Sniffles. Sniffy. Tasty. I'm getting in. 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 It smells so dirty. I'm getting in, ladies and gentlemen. Oop. Little baggy. Oh, there's a bit falling off. Hang on. Oh, oh dear. Okay. Uh, so this is what it looks like. Mm. It's a soy, I can tell. Mm. <laughs> Candle making nose. <laughs> the nose nose. That might be crazy, but there you go. So we're not even halfway done yet. We've got quite a few things left. So the next couple of things, I'll do those a couple of things more bubble wrap yes please are kind of uh, good to have on a crafty witch bag this this the first one is all different colored freaking little baggies so, all little different colored pouches which are of course perfect for spell work of all kinds so you've got a protection and you've got a money and you've got a healing and Orange, I mean, orange courage, vitality, boost of energy, uh, yellow, I tend not to use, I'm not a big fan of yellow, rude, passion, danger, stop it, stop it right now, and so on and so forth. So there you go. So some cool little baggies, and then there's some cool little vials, which I love, I adore. Um, it's kind of funny because I was looking for poison vials, which is what I call these ones. These little vials, like this sort of smallness with the cork and then that thin shape, they make me think Romeo and Juliet poison vial. <laughs> I drink to the and out, you know. <laughs> is that my carb? Is that? I don't know. It might be. And then, I saw the little 
that's me mushing my words into one and talking nonsense for you. So this is a smlul, and a smlul in English is a sage smudge stick. So this is a white sage smudge stick. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Mm. For your cleansing, of course, for your cleansing for your new home and all that goodness, which is why she's now titch. So I'm not sure what the teeny tiny crystal is, and I completely spaced on asking what the teeny tiny crystal is, because it's all wrapped up, but there's no thing. So it's a teeny, 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 tiny crystal. I mean, it's... The thing... I mean, okay. So this is a teeny, teeny, tiny crystal, and I know the light is not great on this tiny little camera. If the universe wants to give me a video camera, I will be an unhappy bunny. Anyway, the, it's it's a black, like a, with a blue through. It makes me wonder if it's a tourmaline, because it has a black with kind of like a blue thread through, or an azurite maybe, with but then it's got little pink bits. And the way that the structure looks like that makes me think it is a tourmaline. I will double check with Miss Raven. Um, but that's what it makes me think it might be. And then the next crystal is, oh my god, <gasps> oh my god, 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 okay, out the loop, oh my god, <laughs> but oh my god though, but oh my god, are you seeing this? Um, I don't know how well it will show on this camera because obviously this camera is not great, but this is a Labradorite palm stone, it's a beautiful light Labradorite palm stone, and the flash on this is, a, is fantastic since this entire side flashes, but I very very much doubt we're going to be able to encapsulate it on this terrible terrible camera. Oh it's a little better, the light gods are like, mm, we'll give you a little little, but not much. So this is absolutely beautiful, it's absolutely, mm. it's a it's a good size palm stone too, and a little bruise on your hand, Joe. <laughs> Apparently, I have bruised my hand. It's all that you know, slapping upside the head. I do. Not real. Uh... So the very, very last thing and the very most beautiful, gorgeous thing that she sent me, um, and it arrived safe and sound and in one piece. And I'm so freaking glad it's okay when it got here. Is this? This is a witch ball that she made. And it's absolutely beautiful. Um, uh, it's more organic in feel. It is very more organic in feel. Um, and it's obviously the glass ones where they have, you know, the, the paint was moved through. And there's something primal soup about it. I was going to say oceanic because it does have that oceanic feel, but it also has that cosmic feel to it where you you could also be looking at like you know the cosmos the constellations and it, when the light moves through you do get a really beautiful deep turquoise and turquoise is one of my favorite colors so it kind of shifts from a turquoise to a dark blue and um, then with all these kind of like swirls in them and it's like something out of dream it also looks a bit like a planet especially from the bottom so there's something about the encompassing of worlds in this. So it will be a highly protective one. It also has a more organic feel to it. Um, it also has this kind of primal other world, underworld kind of feel to it. It could it could be like waters of the underworld, very easily. So you know, I'm all about wonders of wonders. I'm all about wonders of the underworld. Wonders of the underworld. Wonders of the underworld. Wonders of the wonder world. Now you're making sense. Um, or not, <laughs> not making sense, never, 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 but never, ever, not, never, ever, not, ever, ever. So this is the final beauty in this gorgeousness that Raven Flower sent me. And I just wanted to show you guys the beautiful items that she sent, celebrate that she sent these beautiful items and all this gorgeousness. And just to say a huge thank you, uh, a lot of the items have that kind of sister virgo feel like oh this could be useful for you and this is helpful and this is useful in fact most nearly everything in it is like a, a usable thing so my inner virgo feels her inner virgo for feeling my inner virgo <sniffs> say that three times fast don't agree <laughs> but it's all like super useful as well as super gorgeous so i just wanted to say thank you thank you thank you thank you so much to miss ravenflower 
for sending these gorgeous ness 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 nesses in the post. Um, the post took a little while because, you know, America to Scotland is just as bad, if not worse, than America to England. The post here is nuts. I've been waiting days and days on things that should have come already. It's just holding me up. It's driving me crazy. Different story. Completely irrelevant. Just a huge thank you to Miss Raven Flower once more. So that's it for this particular video. I will see you on the flux side of the flip side or something. Anyway, stay true. Stay fluxy. My starter friends.